Hey guys, this is Nick here with another video tutorial for you with the Beast build for Cody. So this video tutorial, I'm going to go over how to customize the menus and the submenus of Cody with you. So as you can see, I have a fresh install of Cody here. What we're going to do is we're going to go all the way over to the right to System. And inside System, we're going to go down to Skin Settings. Now inside Skin Settings, you want the first option that's on, Home Window and then set up Aeon Nox main menu. So inside here you can see the regular menus and we can customize from here all the regular menus and also go over through and add new sub menus in different categories. Okay, So what I like to do with my build of the uh, Beast or my customization build of the Beast is I don't use the help videos so I go over and turn that off. See I just took the blue light off of enabled. I don't really use the music because I use a lot of songs uh, on YouTube if I want music, but this is a great option for the music lovers out there, so I usually disable that. Movies, I leave enabled. TV shows, live TV, sports double. I'm not really a soccer fan. What I usually do is I'll add soccer to my sports double section and I can watch it there, but this is all entirely dedicated to soccer. So 3 p.m. is soccer. I usually disable that as well. The men's area I leave enabled. Same with the ladies area. YouTube I don't use as I uh, have a Chromecast, so I mainly cast YouTube to my TV. Once again, this is also another amazing option. Top add-ons I don't use either, so I usually disable that. Kids area I'll leave enabled. Crispy, this is his build for the beast. So what I usually do is I'll go in and edit this label. And when you're in here, you can change it to whatever you want to call it. I usually just call it cleanup. So then now that I've changed that to cleanup, we can go and manage the submenus inside of here. So go down here to manage submenu. I don't use the version. I usually delete that. I leave fresh start, clear cache, and purge packages. Don't really use the thumbnail cleaner either, but you can leave that if you want as well. So as you see, highlight the one that you want uh, to uh, go ahead and edit, and go to the left or to the right, sorry, and choose whatever you want to do with this. So set label is, as you just seen, is to change the name of something. We can add, we can delete, and if you hit OK or enter on your keyboard three times on the type, it'll bring you to the different add-ons that you have. But for now, we're just going to delete the thumbnails uh, uh, portion of it. Now, another thing I like to do in here is I'll go back in the default select action. This is what it automatically does when you click on that menu on your main page. I usually like to change this to, we'll go into add-ons, and we'll go into program, maintenance tool, general maintenance, and clear cache. So now it's going to clear my cache, but then it's also going to give me an option to create the shortcut here. So now, when we back out of here, I'll show you, we'll go back to where it did say, Crispy right now it's building the skins. It was pretty quick because it's on my computer. So go back over here, and here it's called clear cache because I didn't change the name. When I, when I put it to the default, it automatically changed it to what it's called. So it's changed it to clear cache. I'll change that again in a second. But if we click on this, it's going to automatically delete my cache. And then we'll go back. Now I also leave the option down here for people who like the submenus. Fresh start will bring you right back to a brand new install of Cody. So you lose the beast, you lose everything that you've done, it brings you right back to a fresh start. And purge packages, I use this when it's not responding or there's something else going on that I can't explain. It usually just cleans it up a little. Maintenance tool. So now we're going to go back into system and skin settings. Go back to the one that I just did. So home video, set up Aeon Nux. And we're going to go down to what used to be Chris B, but now I named it um, Cleanup. But when I changed it, it changed it to Clear Cache. So I'm actually going to go ahead and rename this to clean up again and there we go so another thing I like to do while I'm in here is I'll go up to sports devil I usually change the name of this to just sports and we'll go down to manage submenu 
show you again. So I don't use Premiere Pass that often, but I do leave it. What I usually do is I will set the label for this, because I know what it is, but some people that I build these boxes for or put on their computers won't know what it is, so I just change it to soccer. Phoenix Sports is another amazing one, although I did hear that they did lose the hockey um, because the cat, or it's on a different channel now, so they can't do hockey. Live games I usually delete because I add my own live game section. And sports add-ons I usually delete as well. Once again, we're up on type. We're going to hit enter or OK three times. That'll bring us to add-ons. Go down to add. And now I'm going to show you what I usually do for live games. Go all the way down to the bottom to sports double. And live sports. Now you could just leave it here for all the options, but I find one of my favorite options is dimsports.eu. That usually has all kinds of options for your live sports. Great shortcut here. And I'm going to set label to live, oh, help if I can spell, live games. There you go. Another one I like to add in here is, go up here to MD Sports Extra. I usually add this section by itself, but then just so it's a little bit quicker, I also usually like to add a subcategory in here that gives you the WWE Network. Now, it has two options in it, low quality and high quality. I would really consider it bad quality and okay quality. It's uh, not the best. Now, while we're in here, you can see that these are here. Another thing you can do, as you can see in the submenus here, is you can move them up and down. I usually put the WWE Network down here and live games I like to have in the middle and MD Sports Extra I will usually just change that well I guess I could have just went over to it but just Sports Extra and just to, to show you how to do it some more I'm going to move that down as well alright guys so that's customizing that part of it I do go through and customize a lot of other spots as well um, don't really use the power option because you can use the power button on your box if you're using a box or you can just close it out in Windows so I usually de-enable uh, de that. And favorites, I don't use that very much either but most people do leave them on. It also has some other awesome options for arcade and ROM collection. The ROM collection will go ahead, you can put other man or sub menus in here or rename it to whatever you want. I personally like to make, I'll do it in this one my own on demand section and it would help if I could type today and then once again you can go in there and add whatever you want here so right now there's nothing in here so say I wanted to go in hit type three times go to video add-ons I don't have it installed yet but one of my favorite on-demand options they have is the Food Network, which we can do, uh, but it's not installed. The add-on's not installed in here yet, So, but that would be how you do that. You just choose what you want and put in there. So that's my tutorial on how to customize it. You can do it for every section. Change these to whatever you want. Uh, I usually rename the men's area to uh, Man Cave, so that's what I'll do here as well. And away you go, right? Hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, hit a like. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And my next video I'm going to upload is how to install the Specto Genesis fork. So that's the replacement for Genesis as Genesis is going down. still works partially, but according to the Internet, they're not going to update it anymore. So a new dev took over, and they're going to be doing Specto. That's the new name of it. It still looks the exact same as Genesis, and it's amazing. So in my next video, I'll show you guys how to do that. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed.